Is the data analytics domain dead? Well, the answer to this question has already been given to you as part of another video. Please go back to my channel. Two weeks back, I had posted a video on the same topic. I have covered a lot of things in that video. Please go ahead and watch it. Well, cutting short to this particular video where we are going to discuss what are the strategies, what are the tips and tricks I would like you to apply in order to become a data analyst in 2024. Well, there are certain strategies that we need to change because we all know with the inclusion of AI tools, with the so many things happening in the space of data, AI and various other fields, a lot of jobs, a lot of career paths are impacted. Does that mean data analytics is dead or data science is dead or AI domain related jobs are dead? Well, definitely there is a certain decrease or decline in the number of jobs, especially in the data science and AI domains but not in the data analytics part. You probably are able to see there are a lot of struggle in this field just because the number of participants, the number of candidates interested in this domain are increasing. The number of jobs are still kind of same or even more than what was few years back, right? So as the number of students, number of candidates interested in this domain are increasing, definitely we need to change our strategies. And when I say our, that means all of you who believe in yourself, who want to become a data analyst and you are watching me right now. Now, what are those strategies? What are the tips and tricks that you need to do in 2024 in order to land a data analytics job? I will be discussing everything about that in this particular video. Stay tuned. Well, let's get into the business. My name is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. In this particular video, I'm going to share you some tips and tricks that you need before entering 2024. If you want to become a data analyst, especially in 2024, what are the things that have changed from the past? What are the new things that you need to focus on? I will be talking about that. Now, before talking about those tips and tricks, which I will be covering in the later half of the video, let me get the basics done. I hope everybody knows I'm clearly repeating again and again, programming language is a must for becoming a data analyst. Do not listen to the other AI gurus who are kind of telling in the market or telling in lot of YouTube videos that programming is not required. Programming is needed, not to an extent of becoming a pro Python programmer, but to an extent of solving certain problems in Python, which includes problems like data analysis, data cleaning, data exploration, and so on. SQL, Excel, basics of statistics and mathematics, BI tools such as Power BI, Tableau, predictive analytics such as concepts like classification, regression, time series forecasting, all these topics are needed. On top of that, basic knowledge of ETL, data warehouses, data lakes, all these things are needed. Now, all these things looks very simple to understand, but there has to be a dedicated three to four months of efforts that you need to put in. You are good to go with the next steps. Now, where do we learn? Of course, there are multiple platforms to learn. Edureka, Simply Learn, Upgrad, blah, blah, blah. But do we have to waste so much of time or so much of money in order to learn? Well, my answer is no. I am not forcing you to buy my program, but my program is one of the most affordable programs in the market that costs around 9,999 or probably 14,999. Whatever you can see right now, uh, the link is in the description below. You probably might see a different value, but if you are watching this video, if you reach out to me on LinkedIn or WhatsApp, I will give you this course for 499 which is less than 60 or 70 US dollars. Now, that's what I can give you. On top of that, I have 24x7 chat support and all those things. I also get in touch with students for resume preparation and a lot more things. Now, coming back to the exact reason of doing this video. All these things, this curriculum of mine is not new. It was there in 2023. Some of the curriculum was there in 2022 as well. What has changed? Four tips that I would like to give 
if you are starting your journey right now you have to start implementing it right now you do not have to wait till the end to implement ki chalo mera course khatam ho gaya now let's focus on what satyajit had given all the tips no if today you are starting your particular program this program or any other programs you have to implement these tips immediately the first step is writing blogs i have always emphasized on this thing to all of my close students who join my batches on one to one basis or on a group basis writing blogs is important doesn't matter what the quality of blog is automatically quality of blogs will keep improving slowly slowly on day 1 you cannot become the best author or the best blogger in the world right today if you are learning some techniques like eda or data cleaning try to write a blog try to search some blogs around data cleaning take ideas and write a blog writing blogs is very simple you can write it on medium there are multiple other platforms you can also check out zepanalytics.com where i have created a platform specially for you to write blogs write it down as simple as that second tip will be social media social media interaction social media engagement is one of the most important tips why first of all you make connections second of all you grow you make connections with recruiters and your fellow students you post something on a daily basis every day you have to post something okay something something you have to post about your learnings about what projects you are doing and so on so linkedin and various other platforms like github is very important whatever projects you are doing push it to github whatever things you are learning push it to linkedin just post it today you learned about data cleaning or data pre processing write down a post i did did this 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 try to find some tags you can check out rapid tags to give them an understanding on the topic rapid tags will give you all the different type of tags copy them add it to your linkedin post that's it and tag some of your some of the people who have more followers you can tag them in the post maybe you can tag me or you can tag somebody else in the post so social media plays a vital role now the third point is going to be joining communities and engaging there are a lot of communities right now telegram communities facebook communities uh, linkedin communities multiple groups pages join don't only join to take knowledge join to also share knowledge because understanding and learning happens not just by taking knowledge right you have to also give it back to the community if you have benefited from a group always give back to the community that's how you can grow that's how others can grow also the fourth most important point is portfolio projects what normal people do is they go through a course and they do some random projects like bank analysis or churn analysis but is churn analysis related to your profile if you are a fresher no problem you can do any projects but if you are coming from a any other background let's say digital marketing background or a sales background this project might not be relevant to you create a relevance whether this is related to your profile or not and then move ahead now in that scenario you can get in touch with me in case you have any doubts you can talk to me over whatsapp over linkedin ask me sir how can i choose my uh, you know portfolio projects and create my profile and so on now if you are my student you have taken my program obviously i will be able to help you out for free and there is no charges but even if you are not my student it's not like i only help my students you can ping me on linkedin you can ping me on whatsapp even you can use this particular video comment down in case you are writing down any comments uh, give a context on what you are asking for and i will revert back so that's all about this particular video as i told you that i am already working on lot of projects i cannot upload project videos every week so this week we are uploading this next week we'll come up with a end to end project see you in the next video till then please like share and subscribe the channel don't forget to comment anything in the video because that helps me 
and share across all the platforms about this video and invite people to get into the field of data analytics. Bye-bye.